Hello, beautiful people. Good morning from Taka, Bangladesh. Approaching towards afternoon, and I am with my zombie voice because I woke up a while ago, had my morning tea. No, I had Horlicks. Yeah, Horlicks is good. <laughs> so I am really like sorry for the voice. It's uh, it's gonna get better as the day progresses, but today is the last day of 2019, uh, last day of this decade. Uh, kind of when you see the numbers, you go like all emotional. Oh my God, 2019, really? passing away I'm like so sad it's like if you see it as a number but I mean we are human beings it's just another day perhaps but nonetheless we celebrate so uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with uh, like end of the year video whatever I don't know so I want to continue my work uh, continue reviewing so I have two fragrances back-to-back -back review hopefully if I feel like I'll do three but uh, just gonna enjoy them as far as uh, their, you know, their fragrances, they actually, the way this uh, suits suit me, okay? So now let's start with Replica House. Uh, I have three left and this is the one, I think one of my brothers from Australia, he's a reviewer, I think he loves this. I think Scott, I think he's Scott. He, yeah, I guess he loves this. He uh, said this fragrance is uh, one of his favorites. It's called At The Barbers and this is the one that's missing. Uh, more or less everything else is almost done except flower market and lazy Sunday morning the rest of it all I think I covered so let's see what you get from this perfume uh, before I start let me show you my scent of the morning this is thanks to my brother this is not my bottle I actually did not buy any further bottle after that <clears throat> YSL M7 with absolute but my scent of the morning is B man and this is really heavy bottle beautiful looking star and this is the metal plus version of B man I guess so it's nice I'll describe it very very soon Today, uh, another thing is update of weather in Bangladesh. Since last two days, the sun is coming out a little bit. So it's still pretty okay. Not very cold. It's kind of like cooler, uh, sunny, windy, windy, little bit windy, uh, not chilling, you know. So we actually do not need jackets for the time being. And yesterday when I had to turn on the air conditioning for a while, <laughs> you know. So weather-wise, uh, we are hoping that, you know, winter will get a little bit more intense, you know, upcoming days. But... Let's see this review. Uh, this is going to be an official sample review. Thanks to Avik Bhai. I sprayed this on the paper already. And I know this fragrance uh, uh, for some time now. And this fragrance is very, very familiar, I'll tell you. So the perfume, uh, first of all, what is Barber at the Barbers? They are going for a barbershop fragrance. Barbershop fragrances usually refers to fougier, spicy, kind of like that fragrances would smell like after shaving, foam. I mean like shaving foam or after shave or being at the barbers where you get your haircut done and stuff like grooming done and you know that light is moving around like you know the red blue and white light just moves around like a police you know like a uh, light uh, and you just imagine everything that smells there like masculine uh, kind of like a spicy you know those are the kind of feel that you get like shaving foam right so uh, these fragrance I have done I have actually covered many uh, barbershop fragrances let's see how this one performs and how this one ranks among them all right so first of all this fragrance i'll tell you forget about the notes i'll tell you the notes after this but this smells a lot hell lot like platinum ego is by chanel and i was like confused i'm like what am i smelling and i went to fragrant i'm like people are suggesting this actually smells pretty much similar i'm not saying this is a clone of that uh, this is release of 2014 i don't know platinum egoist was released long time back but I'm not saying this house copied Platinum Egoist, but they smell a lot alike, okay? Platinum Egoist, in my humble opinion, it's uh, one of the most versatile, cooling, spicy, uh, one of the most dynamic fragrances, like very, very dynamic fragrance, I would say. It has uh, like a feel of, like it's timeless piece of art, you know? I really love this perfume. It can be worn all year round. It has that barbershop feel, but at the same time, it has a woody floral mask. Uh, not really floral, it's kind of like a woody, a spicy kind of a fragrance like Chanel Alurum, okay? But Platinum Egoist is one of my signature scents, okay? So now, at the Barber's, when I sprayed for the first time, I got some uh, citruses. I don't know if it's orange or bergamot or lemon, either one, but it has a citrusy opening. It's very transparent. Then slowly, it starts going a little bit spicy and lavenderish, okay? So spices, I don't know where it's coming from, but it's really bit remind me of a few other Barbershop fragrances. Uh, I have... Uh, What's the black bottle? I always forget. Like, uh, hold on, let me show you. Yeah, sorry, I always forget the name of this perfume, but it's one of my favorites. Uh, this is Drakkar Noir. If you happen to love this fragrance, this is typical barbershop fragrance. 
and really masculine. It's like literally brings back 90s era to me, you know, to my nose. So this one means Chanel's Platinum Egoist. And then you get at the Barber's of uh, this perfume, you know, like this house. Okay, this is uh, literally uh, very clean, fresh, but more citrusy. I think the spices are kind of like black pepper. And then followed by musk, and they say there's leather in this, but I do not detect so much leather. What I really detect is that barber shoppy feel, that lavender, musk, kind of sweet musk, and then the spices up a little bit with that pepper. And that's pretty much it, this perfume at the Barber's from Mason Martin Margiela. I think this is going to be good for people who are a little bit more mature, you know, they start shaving, you know. Uh, you are like gone past your teenage years, like let's say 17, uh, 18 and above. This is suitable for them and you really can use this for graduation or something like a more formal, you can give a speech. It feels kind of like a formal fragrance, okay. And it's really clean, uh, it's really wearable, that orange sort of gives it like, like smoothen things up, it's not that serious that peppery so it's very wearable version of i would say even more wearable than dracar noir it's not as a one-dimensional barbershop okay so very smooth kind of like a, a nice i would say this is borderline niche like the fragrance smells like niche quality juice so definitely check it out uh, i would say this fragrance is getting like eight out of ten for me the performance on this is okay nothing groundbreaking but it can be you know worked with so 8 out of 10 for at the barbers so let's move on to the next review thank you for watching bye bye